Funny I didn't hear you knock, Obi. I had to talk to you. You have been working with AIM. Don't look so surprised. Why? Because you won't work with me, Tony. You're selfish. You always have been. You better get out of here, Stain. How could you do business with AIM? They're a sick bunch of- Don't get on your high horse, Tony. Stark Industries is no better than they are. Your Iron Man suit is an incredible invention. You're Mona Lisa, and you're keeping it to yourself. Imagine what the Pentagon could do with an army of Iron Men. And imagine what the bad guys could do. Can't control that. You can only make the best product possible and bring it to market first. You're gonna need to leave before I have you arrested. I have your original Iron Man suit. What? How? <laughs> Some men will do anything for money, Tony. Even you should understand that. The suit is a marvel. Only one problem. No power source. Even money, it seems. Can't produce one. We've tried. Nobody's as smart as you, Tony. And they never will be. Your life's been a waste, Tony. But your death will be a gift to the world. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> So, Iron Man the game. Um, this, I thought it'd be, it looked just like the Xbox 360 version, but I read that this is, um, a port from the PlayStation 2. Uh, here I'm trying to demonstrate the, the impact punch from falling from a, lar a, a long distance down. The game is, um, pretty good. Um, the visuals are okay. You know, it's, it's not um, Xbox 360 visuals, but um, it's it's okay. I like it. Um, I'm playing the game on easy, and this is the beginning of the last stage where, uh, as you might have heard, um, Stain kidnaps some um, Pepper Potts. So, <laughs> I... I guess I wasn't able to do the power punch on the floor, so I'm just gonna keep on playing. Um, there's a button so where you can fly, um, like that, and there um, you can turn with both um, both of the analog um, um, buttons. Um, I see a gate at the bottom of the dam. Just like yes, sir. The control panel for the gate is so located the behind that large window. Buttons on the on the right side is for uh, firing and dropping from a distance, like when you're flying. You can hit one and drop. On the other side, the two top buttons are for it, um, uh, fast fast flying and hovering. And hovering up the way you go down as you drop. Um, the four buttons on the right side, one is to activate panels and stuff, the other one is to, um, to switch your weapons, which are um, indicated on the top, and, um, Gate is open. there's one, um, there's one button to exit and, um, like, skip stuff and to, um, take knowledge and not knowledge. Um, but so far, since I'm playing on easy, it's been pretty good. It's been pretty entertaining. I haven't died once. There are there are moments when your power gets low, but there are five squares underneath your um, your power, which uh, control. Um, that's like uh, lives. When all of those are empty, game over. And I guess you gotta start from the beginning. Um, you could use, um, different, different upgrades to your weapons that's on the um, main menu screen. And you could, uh, also give yourself, um, like, missiles and a Gatling gun. Which is more machine-ish, but it doesn't change your, the color of your armor or anything. 
Um, the upgrades you could get them Heart went system by, failure. Uh, Manual reboot activated. The, the upgrades you get them by destroying um, Fail safe crates, activated. crates and destroying stuff. I've been just breezing through the game so I haven't been able to collect everything so I don't have all the upgrades I need. But um, since I'm playing on easy after I finish it, I'll probably do it on medium. It's... What can I say? <laughs> I think it's a good game. I'm sure a lot of people find it monotonous and repetitive, but I like it. I like it a lot. Um, all right, so the the game I got it at Target for twenty dollars. Um, not twenty dollars. It's um, I think it's thirty dollars. I got it for the PC because I don't own the Xbox or PlayStation. And, um, do I think it's worth the 30 bucks? Well, for 30 bucks, I could get, uh, <laughs> I could get Jet Storm at, um, Toys R Us at Times Square, which is $27. <laughs> so, um, I think it's good. I'm sure when my nephews come over, I'll let them play a little bit if their their mom wants them to. If not, hey, they're lost. <laughs> um, do I recommend this game or not? It depends on your budget. So if or if you got a, a Xbox or or a PlayStation, this is a PlayStation 2 port, as mentioned. If you could get the Xbox 360, um. I mean, if you have one and you want it, I would recommend it as a rental. Don't don't spend uh, 40, 50 bucks that a play that a PlayStation 3 or an Xbox game cost. Definitely a rental. I'm sure you'll be able to finish it. Um, I haven't found any cheats yet because um, for PC games there are things called trainers, which will let you cheat. I haven't found any cheats yet, so I'm, I'm playing like anyone else would be playing. Um, so yeah, with the hype of the Iron Man movie, I I decided to buy this. And I don't think there's been a good Iron Man game out. There was Iron Man XO Man o War for the PlayStation 1. And I think for the... For the um, for the Game Boy, there was an Iron Man game. Um, this is almost the end of my video, so I'll I'll leave you there. <laughs> so um, yeah, do it. Buy um, rent it or buy it. See you guys. Bye. Thank you.